Dial Anthony. The construction of 372 new classrooms are currently on across six educational districts in Lagos State. This is just as of 31 secondary and five primary school buildings are undergoing massive rehabilitation and will soon be completed for inauguration across the state. Chairman Lagos State Special Committee on Rehabilitation of Public Schools, SCRPS, Akim Smith, said that this while fielding questions from journalists at the 2024 Interministerial Press Briefing held at Bagodo Carlton Press Centre alongside Kedra. Smith explains that SCRPS has to date rehabilitated 165 public schools, constructed 1,046 new classrooms, and built new hostel blocks in the boarding schools. He added that 1,593 beds were also provided in hostels, while over 200,000 units of composite furniture were also provided in schools, including principals and teachers' furniture. The Falco Jaya General Hospitals has charged residents to embrace immunization and vaccination as part of its ways to fortify themselves and their communities from infectious diseases. Senior Medical Officer, Ifako Jai General Hospital, Olonro Femi Uluwa Shion, made his call against the backdrop of ongoing World Immunization Week, celebrated in the last week of April every year. Olonro Femi, who noted that immunization helps to build resilience of communities against outbreaks, preserve the health of such communities, noted that we aim to highlight the collective action needed and to promote the use of vaccines to protect people of all ages against disease. Also speaking, Senior Nursing Officer Tai Wu Tululope said low-income countries are mostly affected by zero immunization rates, thereby exposing citizens, particularly children, to infectious diseases. Tai Wu noted that BCG, BCG polio, HPV, among other vaccines, are administered to children at the Falco General Hospital and other hospitals and primary health care across the state. She commended the Lagos State Government and the Medical Director of Ifako Jai General Hospital, Bami Dili Mustafa, for the necessary guidance and technical support to implement high-quality immunization programs for Lagosians. The World Immunization Week runs from April 24 to 30 and is for people and their communities to be protected from vaccine-preventable diseases. The Augustate Governor, Dakwa Biodu, has expressed great sympathy for the victims of gas explosion at Itaoshi, area of Abelkota. Report says there was a fire incident at around 5 p.m. on Saturday, caused by a lone accident of a gas truck at Itaoshi Junction, a few meters from the roundabout. Governor Biodu, in a statement, regretted the loss of life in the inferno and the attendant's description of properties while calling for calm. Assuring that everything was being done to put the situation under control, he praised the quick intervention of relevant agencies of government and first responders. Governor Bjorden noted that relevant authorities have been mandated to ascertain the cause of the explosion and ensure that appropriate measures are put in place to prevent reoccurrence. President Bola Tinobu has firmly stated that his administration to eliminate administration's decision to eliminate the petrol subsidy was crucial to preventing the nation from bankruptcy. President Tinobu, who defended the move during a panel session at the ongoing World Economic Forum in Freda, Saudi Arabia, argued that the removal of the petrol subsidy was indispensable for Nigeria to reset its economy and pave the way for growth. He acknowledged that the subsidy removal will impact a significant portion of the population, but ensure that measures are being implemented to alleviate the burden, particularly the vulnerable groups. The president also highlighted the resilience of Nigeria's youthful population, noting that their enthusiasm for self-discovery, technology and education, which he believes will help mitigate the economy's setbacks and fallout from subsidy removal. And out of foreign news, Russia's air defense system has destroyed 17 drones launched by Ukraine over its territory. Its defense ministry, while confirming this, said the attack targeted an oil storage facility in the Kaluga region. Regional governor of Kaluga, Valdisvar Shapsha, 
said the drone was found near an ore depot near the town of Lididvono, but there was no casualties or damages. And now to sports. From a Super Falcons, from a Super Falcon forward, Desire Okwaranosi has charged the Nigeria Football Federation, NFF, to ensure equal care and attention for both the male and female national team players. Expressing her concerns, Okwaranosi criticized the NFF for not extending the same level of support to injured female athletes as they do to their female counterparts, like Tosi Dende and Asphalt Plumtree. Advocacy underscores the importance of gender equality in sports, highlighting the need for fair treatment and recognition of female athletes along their male counterpart. It's a recall that NFF President Ibrahim Gusau showcased the organization's concern for its players by personally visiting the injured Super Eagles players William Thrust Ekang, Zaidu Sanusi, and Simon Moses in Europe. Just before we go, please maintain an adequate distance from the vehicles ahead of you to avoid collision. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X, Traffic Radio 961. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Now subscribe and watch the news and programs on our YouTube channel at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website at Traffic Radio 961. But did you know that the Sawolu administration completed an inaugurated new office of Citizens Man Meditation Center in Ikorodu? You can get more details on Lagos State Government website. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info traffic radio 961.ng. The NC News broadcast compiled by Adewale Lokmaroku. I am Tini Dayo Anthony. Many thanks for listening.